Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now, we have just unlocked the area underneath our house. So we are able to go down there and we're able to see all sorts of interesting things. But before we do that, I just wanted to just run down here and make sure. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we got a body here that turned up that just kind of, um, we forgot about. So it's already deteriorated to quite a poor state. So I'm just going to work this one first. And then once I've done that, we'll go and dump it in the river. And let's take that blood out there. I'd also like to tidy up a few little bits and pieces. And most importantly, though, I do want to go and have a look at some of this other stuff. We've upgraded our sword. We've upgraded some of the other bits. Um, so we, we are able to go and do it. We're able to go and have a look. Because... Snake said about a dungeon. In in this new area, he said something about a dungeon being there and that we could go and look at this, you know, do something in this dungeon and get something for him, which all seemed very, very cool and is something that I would like to be a part of. However, um, yeah, it, it, it may um, it, it may not end well for us. I'm, I'm not really sure how well any kind of dungeon situation is going to pan out for us. But first though, we will go and catch a little bit of shut-eye. And then once we've done that, I'd like to move a few of the items from our house up here into down into the church basement because this is where we're going to actually be using them for like the alchemy and stuff. I want to go up to here and in there. So I've got... Right, the flesh can step... Oh, no, the flesh can't. I need to move the blood over first. And then I can leave the flesh behind. That The flesh will stay there. And... I suppose we could take those items out. And, yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's get some sleep. A little bit of shut-eye. And then we can come down here. We've got material there that has been dealt with. And let's have a look in here. We've got, oh, we've got loads of coal in here. I've also got some iron ores there as well. Uh, the fishing pole, ash in there. How much ash can we... Oh, we can, can put more ash in there still. So I've got plenty of space. And then I can come over here. What I think I would like to do is... Because I can't get either side of this one. Oh, yes, I can. I can go that side of it, which means I can go straight to the chest here. So I can leave that and the ash. I can leave that all there. Uh, before I go and move the stuff away, I want to come over here. Now, I've I've put... I can't do anything there because i got sticks on it. And the sticks are for something else. I'm not sure what the sticks are for. So if I remove empty garden bed... Oh, I can make a new empty garden bed. Right, I want to put that one there. And then I want to... Get rid of that. Remove that one. Okay, let's see what that does because I want to get rid of the sticks and then I want to grow hemp on there. It would help if I press the right button. So we will just do that there. I've got a, uh, I've got one of those and then I'll do this. Now, am I removing the sticks or am I removing the garden bed altogether? I've removed the garden bed altogether. Let's harvest. No, let's not harvest because I don't have any room. So I just want to go back here and make another garden bed. We'll do. We'll deal with the compost heap in a minute. I also want to, I want to get a compost heap and I want to build that because I think that's going to be interesting and fun and so on and so forth. So we'll plant here, seed, there, hemp seed, done. And then I go to that one and I'll plant as well and I go hemp seed, done. And that has now given us uh, two spaces. We'll leave that. We'll come back and we'll harvest in a little while. I want to go now into the church. Oh, actually, I could put some more stuff going in there. Have I got any more... Yes, I should have. Craft. Oh, I don't have any more coal in there for a minute. Let's, let's put some more coal in there. There's two lots of coal. That'll, that'll keep me going for a bit. And then I can put that in there. Now we go up here and we go underground to the church. Like that. And then we go skedaddling over this way. So yeah, it's up there. And I, I am going to go and do that. I know that I said that I would do that. We want to read the book. And that there's other things that we want to look at as well. Uh, we, we've got a lot of stuff that we want to do, so I'm just going to move all of these items in here where we want them. And I think actually we'll leave the stories. We've got story and we've got good story there. And then I wanted to do this. Now, um, I am wearing it. I'm 2 armor and then 10 damage. Right. I'm hoping that's a bit better than what we did have. So we'll go up here first. We've got this, this the thing in there that we wanted to look at that was quite important. Now, we did die on there. Uh, but we 
It doesn't look like we die again. That's, that's not a thing that happens here. There's a, an interesting a, a rack right there. We don't really have anything to do with that. And I can pick that one up. The keeper's diary. We've got the keeper's diary. Is there anything else I can do? No. Let's have a look at the keeper's diary. I can't use or... So the only thing that I can do with that one is I can take it to the astrologer. And the astrologer turns up tomorrow. And it is almost dark now. So I can. I can go here. I can go down in there. But it's almost dark. And I want to go and see the astrologer and give him the keeper's diary. So I think we'll prioritize doing that. And we'll get over there. We'll see the astrologer. And then we can come back again. Uh, what have I got here? I've th Those pens. I bought pens off of him. And apparently there's no way to make pens. I've been told this by a few people. That's the only... I can get them from him. And there's one other place I can buy them as well. I didn't realize I had a brilliant story in here. So I got several stories in here. We'll be making more stuff with that later. Uh, but yeah, bed. And then we can go and see the astrologer. I would be going to bed, but there's a body that's just turned up, so I'm just going to run in here a second, and I'm going to quickly drop that one on a pallet. There we go. That one on there. And then I can go to bed. And this is still the fastest way. I need to get Gary some more wine. One bottle of wine wasn't enough for him. He needs another one. Very, very early start. I've dealt with the iron. I've picked up some bread so that we've got a snack for along the way. And now we've got to go to the astrologer. I very much hope that when the full game comes out, there is some way we can unlock slightly faster traveling on this map. And um, there's several different ways that you can do some kind of fast travel that works really well. Um, and I hope that we get some kind of um, fast traveling. I mean, tele teleportation is good. Whether you could buy stones that would teleport you to certain points on the map. Uh, that's always good. You could, have, you could unlock like a, an... Um, some kind of portal system. Uh, even you could just have a... Uh, I don't know, I was just trying to think. What else could you have? Maybe like a, a fast horse that would... You, you, you have a couple of stations at different points on the map and you, you basically you just get onto a horse and you say, I want to go to here as quickly as possible and then it lets you gallop there as fast as possible. And I think all of those are, are fairly good ones that could actually work. Uh, some uh, somebody said that you got these apples here. I can't do anything with that one. It's not letting me interact. I got the, the rock there, but the one with two apples at the base. Apparently, yeah, I can do something with the one that's got two apples at the base. There aren't any others that I can do anything to, but if I go to the ones that have got two apples, those I can harvest. And I've got apples, I've got mushrooms, so that one there doesn't have anything. There are no others that I can do anything to. It is just the ones with two apples. And there's only a couple of them there. Now somewhere, there he is. There is our astrologer. And we've got here in good time for him today. So let me speak to you. We can trade. We can give him the diary. Great, great. How many important things there must be in this book. Amazing. We got a silver good story. I haven't felt so alive for a long time. So, how can I open the portal on which hill? Let me see. You need to craft a spirit laser. I don't know what a laser is. Sorry. It should be crafted on the curb stone in front of the portal. Hmm. You need to craft it in two parts, an emitter and a barrel. And here we have three parts of the emitter. A mirror of pride, an eternal burning coal, and a salty fork. What about the second part? Where can I find that stuff? Ah, oh, there's an option. Uh, he wrote that these his friends believed that all these things would be found in the town. I, I, I don't understand this. But he wrote that they were the soul of the town. It all sounds like a delusion to me. Magic. Ha, what nonsense. If I were you, I'd start with something you can see. First, I'd check the curbstone near the portal. Second, try to get to the town and find those items. What about the second part? The second part of the book's text is covered with something sticky. I'll need to clean it off first. I think I'll need some acid to clean it. I gave up alchemy many years ago. It's really a dead-end occupation. But I know where you can get some acid. New task. Get some acid to read the second part of the diary. There should be an old woman in the swamp. She's definitely mad. But in the distant past, she once sold me chemical ingredients. Right. So we have to go and see the lady in the swamp for that. And then we need to, we can get some acid. Now, trade. And he will. we can buy pens from him. Uh, clean paper we can make. Soft covers we can make. Ink. I'm not sure how to make ink at the moment. Uh, we'll worry about that. And then chapters, uh, books, plus 25, gives 25 when read. Oh, very nice. 
And the, oh, I see, right. So you've got 25 green, 25 red, and 25 blue when red. And then that one there is a hard cover, a silver star hard cover. I'm not going to buy anything from him, though. Just going to leave that. So we have advanced. We've got, we, we need to go to the town. The town looks like it's going to be quite useful. You can't get to the town in the alpha build. It doesn't let you go to the town in the alpha. Oh, we can harvest stuff here. Let's go through and harvest a few different things if we can in this garden. It doesn't look like we can harvest much, though. That's a small tree. That's vines, isn't it? What do I get from there? Oh, no. Right. Uh. You, you, sh oh, no! I wanted to get that. Oh, well. We'll, well. we'll have to go and mend that one. Is there any out there? It doesn't look like there is anything else here that we can get to for a minute. That's all right. We will head back home. Because I can harvest those items if I want to, but I don't really want to. I've got another butterfly there. I've got some apples. I've got some yellow and white flowers. I've got more mushroom, edible mushrooms, but I think you've got to go and cook those. So if we head home... Now, there is also one place where I don't need to use bait on the fishing line. I can go and do some fishing and I don't have to use bait. And it's, I think it's the one near my house. I'll be able to do a bit of fishing there that we can try out. But what I'd like to do next is I'll get home and deal with the stuff that we've got. And then I'd like to um, go into that uh, cellar place, in, into the dungeon, and, and just have a little look. Even if we don't do very much in there, it would be nice just to take a little peek and, and see what may be on offer. Let's also go and speak in here a minute and speak to Horodric. I want to get... Uh, sell the items that I've got. Trade. Sell those three. Like that is another 450. That puts me at 43 silver. And then from him, I want to buy some wine. And I've got red wine there. I would go for the better quality stuff. I don't know if I need the better quality stuff or not, but that's the one I'm going to go for and hope that that is sufficient for um, Jerry. I'd, I'd quite like to get that, that whole thing done with Jerry. And I'm going to run back to ta uh, back home like this. We, we go quite quickly. It does use up a lot of energy, but I think it's worth it because... Oh, well, we got a body there as well. Surprising how quick. You can cover a lot of ground, but at the same time... See, we're, we're, burning, we're absolutely burning up our energy, but I suppose that's what you get for running, isn't it? We'll go and we'll dump this body on the pallet, and then we can speak to Jerry. We can give him the wine, and hopefully he'll be really happy with that. And then we, uh, well, I guess we can just go and do our next prayer session. Um, we haven't really done any improvements, but I don't think we need to. So give him that wine. That was the Silver Star wine. We've got Silver Star there as well now. Another one. <laughs> How many does he need? No NPCs. Jerry. Oh, he's... I need to put him up to 60. Or do I? I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm starting to think that we're, he, he's pulling a fast one, really. That's, that's what I'm starting to think. Let me go to bed. And then we'll have a look at the church and see if there's any easy, quick improvements we can do. And then we'll... Uh, well, I think we want to head underground, don't we? I'm going to leave behind the apples. I'm going to leave behind that butterfly. Got two moths and a butterfly there. I need to mend that one. And I've got some stories there. Oh, the mushrooms as well. I'm going to leave behind the mushrooms. And then we'll come out here. And we are going to go... Actually, we'll, we'll keep that because I'll pick some stuff up off of there in a second. What else was it? What? Oh, the sticks. I want to get rid of the sticks in here they can go and those can go and then the other one we'll deal with in a second so i want to go up here and i want to go to the grindstone here and i want to mend that one craft like that now i'm assuming that i can repair the others as well so if i go here so the sword it doesn't get damaged or anything but the pickaxe there i want to finish i want to repair that one completely I don't want anything damaged while we're down under the ground. So if we if we make sure it's all fully repaired, I think that would be a better situation to be in. Okay, uh, I don't want to go to that. I want to have a look here. 5% left on the whetstone. So we've got one more use, and then we're going to have to get a new whetstone. we have to go to the blacksmith and get another one. And I can leave that and that behind. And then we're going to head over to the church and... I'll go down below 
The candles, they do a slight improvement to the church, but it's not really worth the extra silver that we've got to pay out for it. So we're not going to worry about that for a minute, or at least not today. Um, I want to go to... Is there anything in here that I want? I'll take that and that. Um, is there anything else that I want to take at the moment? So I'll go back through here. We're 63 quality in our graveyard. Right. And then down here. And... Right, so I've got those bits there. I've got a few different items in here now. Some of which may be useful. So, I don't really understand how some of this works. We've got the prayer for faith right here. I need chapters to make that. To make chapters, I need notes. To make notes, I need a story and clean paper and pen and ink. So I have to craft pen. I need some flyers as well. There was I had to make flyers for someone. I need pen. Let's not worry about that now. That's, that seems more complicated at the moment. So I, I might actually go and research how to do that a bit. And you know it would help if I actually had the prayer that I need. Now, like I said, I've got no candles. But that's alright. We, we won't worry about those this time. So let's just take the casual prayer. And then we'll come up through this way. Up to... Oh, no, not that way. And we will say our prayer. Because we're getting very near the end of the day. There craft 12 quality in our church at the moment i'd like to say some words our church great everybody agrees obviously and now let us pray for this blessing so we got three come up there and then he does his prayer thing and how many more do we get do it does it double up and then we get six so if i get there's two i got five this time your donations are welcome as something else that i want to look up i'm gonna spend a bit of time on the wiki soon why only 53? I should be getting more than that. I should be getting 63 each time, shouldn't I? Oh, 630, that's why. I get 6 silver 30, and that makes it, that, that round, it does, so you get um, 10 copper per point of the quality of the church. So we've got room for one body here. Now, my energy is actually partly used at the moment, so I'm thinking that before we go anywhere, we do go and refresh our energy. I'm going to go this way round, and I'm going to put the faith and the prayer into our thing up here. Actually, while we're here, I'll go up into this one and then pick an item to study. I can study that for red, and that for red, and that for red. All right, let's, let's just do it like this. So, um, three this one takes. So, I get 30 for studying this one. 30 is pretty good. That's, that's a good rate, a, a very good rate of return, that is. That puts me all the way up to 111. And I can go to you. And that's... Those are both greens. That's just one on there. So I'll probably get an, another one on the other one. Which is five fluid and essence for that one. And then you here is that one there. Which will be the last one that I can study today. Get that one. And that would be another tennis again. It's fluid and essence as well. So then we can go back down here. Have a look in there. And I'll leave that one behind. And the other stuff I'm taking with me... I am keeping the whetstone with me. It's probably not the most useful item to take with me, but I'm keeping it anyway. And we go up there. And I don't think I got enough to, like, do any extra technologies or anything. I can do the embalming, which is something that I ought to seriously consider doing soon. Blueprint confessional, wooden church shrine, and then prayer for repentance. We need some more blue stuff for that. Candelabra 2 and recipe candle. I thought we'd already got... Yes, we have. Candle there. It's a different candle. Uh, incense burner and incense. And then the bigger and better stone parts in the grave. Uh, uh, graveyard plus the decorations. Those are good. Inventing stories there. We've got this. The prayer for imagination. Um, all of those bits. The blueprint desk too. So we want that one as well. But no, it's, it's in the building... Stone carving there is good, but it's this uh, perk carpenter and perk mason. I was told that that's actually one that I want to get because um, you use less energy when you're dealing with all the stone. But um, again, that's not for today. Today, we're now heading into our basement. The dark, dank, dreary basement. Up through here. All the way up. There's nothing else in this room. Keep going this way, across the circle, and in tele... Ooh. 
Okay, so we, we just, it's, it's literally just a tele... What? Uh, I am wearing my armor, aren't I? Yes, I am wearing it. Is there anything here? There's nothing here. There's seats. Uh, I can get some stuff here. Did I? I don't. I don't think I picked anything up there. A few bits. Is there anything here? Nothing there. Alright, oh, there's a bat over there. I have seen a bat previously. Now, spacebar is... Wow! Okay, that's nasty. He was nasty. Did you see how much he... he how far away he, he attacked from? That's not a very... Whoa! And also, the, the amount of energy... Bat wing, I've got another bat wing. Uh, the, the amount of energy I'm having to use to um, kill these bats is... Okay, that's... See, look at them. Vicious. Okay, the, the, getting the timing on those bats is not going to be easy. That's all. There's nothing in there to explore. We've got a lot of... There's a lot of bats here. Another one there. Right, I, if they hit me once, I can then actually do something, which I suppose is a good thing. Let me just eat some bread. It doesn't restore my health. Okay, bread doesn't restore my health. I need I need better foods. Better foods to restore... Oh, what's that? Uh, that's using up my energy. That got me flitches and simple iron parts. Looks like there's a few bits that I can do that with. But not loads of them. Now, which way do I go? Come down here. There's a lot of bats in there. Uh, right, and now. I I don't know if I stopped him from hurting. I think I may have even stopped him from hurting me. I left that too late. So timing is everything. And then now. Oh, I did it! No, he still hurt me. Okay, that one definitely hurt me. And he, he hurt me even more. Um, I'm about halfway on my health at the moment. Is it worth me breaking those things up? Not sure if it is or it isn't. And also, I really hate when you, like that you you get like a fork in in the route and you don't really know which way you should be going because you're not sure if you're. Exp I want to go back up here. Now I'm, I'm getting a body come up. I'm, I'm in the, the body's just gonna have to rot away to nothing. I want to go back this way because oh hang on, what about if I eat the flower? No, uh, that didn't do anything either. So I gotta watch my health very carefully. It's this way. I want to go up here because I want to see if this is... Right, that's, um... Slimes. There. Oh, no. Wow. Okay. The slime did way more damage. That was like 8 and 10 each time. Way more damage. That was some serious damage I was getting from that slime. I got a slime there. Oh, I can I can cut my way through these things. You got to be careful as well. Look. Okay, there was a, there was a load of bits there. I'm not sure if I gained anything from them. I don't think I gained anything from any of it here to be honest. My health is extremely low. I I can I can eat some stuff to get um yeah, some energy, but I don't have any I, I don't have any heals. I got no heals. Let's put that one down there. Batwing. I'm guessing that's an alchemy ingredient. We do that and that there. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh, way more. Okay. Slimes are seriously dangerous. You go. Just do. Just just spam. You use up your energy. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I can't do anything. But if I hit them like that, it, it breaks the jars. Doesn't do anything there. I can harvest that. I don't. I don't know if it's worth me harvesting that anyway. And then there's pages. Okay, this this dungeon is really big. There's a bat over there. My health and my stamina is just about down to zero now. Right. Well, I got him, but I don't know if I can take it. I, there's 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 several slimes. There's another there's another step down. I can I can go further down. I don't think I can take on the slimes. 
My stamina is just about out. My health is just about gone. Quite frankly, I think this is rather dangerous. So we're going to head back out again, and we're going to have to see about making some... You know what we're going to need? We're going to need some better food. That's what we're going to need. We're going to need far better food than what we've got. Is there any food? Uh, let me eat that. Right. Ooh! <gasps> heal potion! So you have to break the jars, and then you can potentially get a heal potion. What does a heal potion do? Plus 30. That one on there. And then... Right, well, I got some health. I got some energy as well. Let's get, let's go back up this way. Let's go back this way. I'm I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat my bread or well, some of it, so I got about half half health. And then there was a couple of slimes here, and it looked like that may have been like the end of the dungeon, or at least that the end of that bit of the dungeon. The slime there. Just do it. Slowly and don't get too close to them and you can do it Frith. You can do this It is entirely possible to do this Timing is everything There like that And then let him come back again and then we take him out. Okay, we can do this Break those I got two more heal potions Okay, this is fantastic. I didn't realize you could break these. I am so pleased we can I'm not going down further I'm staying on this level there's no way I'm going any further, but there's a big one here that I want to harvest. I want to see what I get from this one. Not sure if it's worth... No, it's just flitches. Yeah, I'm starting to think that it's not worth doing this. Again, flitches. I suppose maybe it's worth it. Not quite sure. There was another area of this dungeon that we didn't look at yet, so I'm going to run down there and take a look at that. What is this bit? Let's see. I've got more bits here that I might be able to harvest. Uh, I've got nails... And I'm actually just using up all my energy now, so let me eat the last of the bread, and then we'll go to the new bit. Here we go. What have we got? I got a slime and a bat. The bat is the bit that concerns me, actually, more than the slime now. Because the bat is almost definitely going to hurt me, and yeah, he, he actually got six damage on there. That slime is just going to stay there until I hit him. Oops. Okay, he, he actually got me then. But we got to... Ooh, look at all these jars. Break all of them. There we go. We've got health potions. We've got more heal potions there. I'm actually going to take a heal potion. Um, but I'm very low now on energy. I can do something to that. Can, I can break all of them. Ah. Okay. I can break them, but I'm, my energy is just about out. And that's a bit that's now concerning me. I've, unless i got something that I can... Oh, no, the bat, the bat. I've I got to be careful with the bat because uh, the, the way that it works. I can't actually see him. I got two energy left. I got decomposes, heal potions and bats. I got no more energy. Right, I got slimes over there. Actually, this is the final room. There is no more in here. Uh, that's it. But I can't do anything to them because I can do that, and I can get another. En I can get another one of those potions, and do that. I suppose. Nope, not enough energy. That's all I got. But I've now got six heal potions. Even though I've completely run out of everything else, I got six healing potions, which is really good. And I guess now we've got to go down to the next level of the dungeon. But I am in no condition to be doing that. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go back home. We've got wheat that we can harvest and then we've also got some hemp that is growing I mean that's for growing rope rather than growing anything else uh, it's, can't do anything there oh but oh yeah I, I can't do it I don't have enough energy so I need to go to here and then teleport and I back out again okay safe right well that was our first attempt at a dungeon I don't think we did too bad I did eventually figure out how to do things properly and yeah let's just ignore snake he's, he's not the friendliest of characters and it is the middle of the night so we ought to be able to get a decent bit of sleep as well and 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 sleep well as well that that's that, the, the crucial thing here is we do want to get some decent quality sleep plus we're healing up all of our health as well 
we're going to need to try to make some better food. We want food that will heal us as well as food that gives us energy. So we'll have a look. We'll go to the cooking a second and we'll see what we can do from there. Have a look in here. We can do dough. We can do the raw sliced meat. We can do berry juice. I need berries for that. Hmm. And what about in here? What can we make? We've got uh, green jelly. Oh, so jelly and honey. That gives plus three health and 15 energy. Now, berry juice and the green jelly there. That one gives... Oh, no, the honey gives plus three health. It doesn't actually tell us what the green jelly does, whether it gives us health or not. So we could try and make one of those. Muffins over here. Um, again, they take honey. So I could do... I'm going to try and do one of each. Try and do one of each on there, I think. And then we don't have any chicken eggs yet. We need those. Berry pie with grapes there to make grape pie. Is it? Ah. You can improve the quality of them. If I click on... Oh, no, that one doesn't like change the quality. So some of them, you can improve the quality of them. Oh, it's, it's to do with the stars that you get on there. If you've got an item that's got stars going into it, it makes a difference coming out as well. Okay, that's pretty good. Baked meat there. So that gives you the baked meat. That doesn't actually... Give, uh, that's just, oh, hang on. Plus 15 energy. The bowl of, uh, plus 12 energy. Uh, and then if I go to here, there's plus 25 energy. That one gives, honey itself gives health. It's plus 3 health. But this one, you make 4 green jelly. So you get 100 energy for that. I see, that's why. Uh, is there any of them that actually give health? Toasts with onions. No influencing perks buffs available. If I go down like that, 100%, it still doesn't say what I'm going to get from this. Do I not get health from any of the food? That kind of sucks, actually, that you don't get any health from food. I mean, I, I still need the food. The, the food is still something that is, is going to be sort of quite crucial to all of this. So we'll, let's just drop in a bit more coal in there, and then I can get another one of them going. And we want to come down here, and I'm going to harvest that. There, we plant, and then we, so we've got wheat seed, and we've got wheat. Harvest again, i got wheat seed, i got crop waste. What do you do with crop waste, then? Study not complete. Green jellies there. Wheat seeds, i got four wheat seeds and 14 wheat. So I can plant in here, and I can plant four wheat. Like that. And then... What do I get from here? It's, uh, it's more crop waste and I get some hemp and then I got two seeds. So you get some seeds back, but not enough... Oh, actually I got four seeds back there. So I got some... I got six seeds. So I can do two seeds in there. But I can't, I can't like, plant the next one. I don't have enough because I can do that and then there. And it, it doesn't actually work because I need, I need more of it. Right. We can't do anything else with that. It's a bit of a shame. We're running late as well. Oh, did I put any... I didn't put anything in there. I thought I did. Nope. Oh, I know what I did. I clicked on it by mistake. I want to go to there. There, that's what I wanted to do. And then we go back up here. I need to go to sleep. That We've got a body in the morgue now that this just about deteriorated into nothingness. We go to you and I'll put the jellies in there. So we've got the 14 jellies in there like that. Uh, I got the heal potions, the bat wings. I'm guessing that's a different ingredient from somewhere else. Let me go and have a look here a minute in the cooking there. Flour. That's what I want to do. Make some... You know, I really should get some sleep. I'll leave that there a minute. Get some sleep first. Then we'll deal with some... There we go. So we've got a little bit of sleep. We just re replenish some of that energy. And then we can work here, and I want to turn the, as much of this into flour as I can in a minute. And we can make dough, because we got loads of dough in the, in the chest already, I think. I can't make a pastry dough, that's what we need, so we need eggs. I th is there some, somebody said something about eggs, I'm pretty sure there's somewhere I can go and buy eggs. We might have to look at that. Going and buying some eggs, so here we go, in the chest we got dough, I got flour right there. I'll uh, leave the wheat in there as well. I got hiccup grass. That's no good to me. Um, ceramic bowls, slowing solution, life solution. I'll take that with me and we'll take that down to the church. Uh, 
There's not really a lot else that I can do stuff with at the minute. I need to clear a bit of space. And eggs would be useful. The hemp rope I wanted down here for something, didn't I? I think I did. I think I needed hemp down here for something. We've got ink there. I need uh, glass cones. i still got to do those. Black paint. I need to get black paint from somewhere. I'm not quite sure. It was there. Hemp rope. That's what I needed it for. And then hemp rope's there. And then i got candles and nose. But I don't have beeswax yet. So I need to get the beeswax. The beeswax is the next thing that I need. Hemp can stay there. The hemp seed will keep hold of the crop waste. That can stay with us. Uh, life solution can go in there. Uh, except that I, well, I wanted to study it, but I can't do any studying at the moment. So we'll leave the bat wing can go in there. And then ash, I'm assuming, is something that can stay there. There's nothing else to do down this side. Let's go racing back through. And, well, I guess it's going to be, we're going to need to do another sermon or something. I, n I need to get glass. That's what I need. If I, if I can make some glass, that's going to be very handy. So technology's in here. Am I able to do that yet? Uh, in here, glass blowing, glass blower two, complex cones. Well, I've got basic. I've got the basic glass cones. I need to go and get sand. I think we got. Well, actually, we need to start having a look at some of these bodies because some of these are going to be rotting away completely. We've just about run out of time for today's episode. Anyway, let's have a look in here. I got one there. I told you it's fifty-two percent. It's not very good. So we grab that one and we'll dump that one over on this table over here. You know what I forgot? When we went over to the um, astrologer, there was a log that we left near there last time. And I forgot to pick it up. I looked at it as we went past and I thought I'll grab that on the way back through. And then I never did. So that's something that I need to do. Uh, I want the skin. Yeah. I'm going to leave the rest. I'm not going to worry about it. You look at that. We've got the fat, the brain. It, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave those because I, I want some energy, actually. I want to save a little bit of energy. Uh, nope. I didn't mean to do that. Let's pick you up and then come out. And I'm going to dump you down there. And I'm going to go back in here and we're going to grab one of these off the table. We're going to run over here. Dump you up there. What have we got? Uh, I can own... Well... All right, we'll uh, we won't take the flesh. We'll take the blood out so that we get a a clean skull, and we'll take the fat as well and the bone. Apparently, the bone is useful. I can't remember what somebody said that the bone is. It's Gooseman X who's given me a lot of useful information about this game, but I can't remember what he said the bone was for. But it is useful as an alchemy thing, and we'll be very glad of it. So that we'll empty the table there. We can only put this quality grave up to a five, but a five is a pretty good quality grave, to be honest. You, you can't really complain about a, a quality 5 grave. Bring that one over to there. And then we come in here. We've got a 0 right there above us. Uh, in front of us. I want to go to you. Dig that one out. Completely. There we go. And then take you and inter the corpse there. And then cover it back over. So that's a minus 1. Which is not actually very good. I don't really want minus 1s. I want better than that. And I've got a... A, a slight issue here. All right, we'll leave. Uh, well, I suppose I want to take that back over to the house, don't I? We've got flitches, axe. I'll leave a nail behind. I'll, I'll leave one nail behind. As long as I can grab that one. The other two bodies can sit and wait for a bit. They're, they're not too important. We'll take this one and we'll dump it. And then... We're going to have to go to bed. That's, that's, that's all we've got time for today. And we will come back to this and we will carry on in our next episode... We will just sort out the body, the rest of the bodies, and um, improve the quality of the graveyard ever so slightly. I was also told that even though we spend a lot of energy making the stone, it's still worth it to make the stones. If you like compare the overall costs of all of it, it, it does actually make it worthwhile. Um, so if I just drop that in there a minute, and then I can go and get those ash there. Uh, craft another iron. And we can go into there like that. Right. And then I've got crop residue. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I suppose I could leave the crop residue in here for a minute. Yeah. I'll leave that there. And then I've got the hemp. I'll leave that. And the iron parts that we found in the dungeon. Yeah. Anyway. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.